Hey guys, so next part of the uh, Vietnam gear guide, I'm going over every ammo pouch that would have been used by the army in the Vietnam War. Now, this is not Marines, I'm going to do a separate Marine guide, because as you've seen, I haven't technically shown any Marine gear. So starting off as the Universal Small Arms Pouch, this was designed in uh, 19... 19 Five, two, six. Oh, yeah, 56. Oh, yeah, M56, obviously. Anyways, so this is the first pattern. It has a grommet in the front and a steel plate in there. So these are produced until about uh, 1960. So it's a pretty nice condition. So the first pattern has the grommet and steel plate. This would have been used early war. Next up is the most common ammo pouch you would have seen, and uh, if you're doing a Vietnam impression for probably 1966 to about 1975, uh, yeah, basically the duration of the Vietnam War, go with the second powder ammo pouch. It's the biggest surplus of them, they're manufactured the, lo the longest and the most. Uh, they're not too expensive, they're probably the cheapest out of all of these, and you can't go wrong, there's nothing incorrect if you're doing this. Unless you're doing like a visor or something. You know, guys being shipped with these would get shipped with these. You know, if you're doing 66, 67. If you're doing 65, get get some of these. But, uh, you know, anything beyond 65, go with this. This even works for like 1972, 74. Uh, this is something you can't go wrong with. There's legit millions of them available. You know, we manufactured millions of them for our troops and there's still a lot of them left. Uh, next up is probably the hardest to find out of all of these. It's a third pattern shorty. So these were designed as universal small arms pouches, so M14s, M16s. You know, these are being designed before M16s even came out. So they are meant to fit most like rifle ammunition being issued to our troops and to uh, you know, any of our allies, whether it be Canadian or Australian. Uh, but, you know, so uh, Aussies have their own uh, equipment too. Anyways, so shorty, as you can see, it's a lot shorty than this. And 20 round magazines go to the top here versus 20 round mag you guys were used for. You know, you have to dig in there for the 20 round mags. This, you pull it right out. So these are probably more harder to find. If you end up finding a pair somewhere, I got this one through a trade with my. Uh, I'm not saying, I'm not slaughtering your name again, so I'm not gonna attempt saying your name again, I'm sorry. Uh, but I will use Instagram in the bio, it's uh, Son of Wolf Hounds, Son of the Hounds, something like that. He's a really cool guy, he's got some cool stuff. I've mentioned him before in my videos. But this one is 1969 dated, I believe. Let's see here. Oh, 68. Sorry, 1968. So funny thing about these is, if you look at the movie Platoon, or the movie uh, We Were Soldiers, all of them have these, which is funny because these weren't manufactured until 1968, and they were stopped about six months into production to be replaced with uh, this one. So these weren't manufactured for about six months, so there wasn't a lot to begin with, and the movie stu studios bought them out for movies like We Were Soldiers and uh, Platoons, and now they're pretty hard to find. Oh, something else I must, might add is here, this was a grommet, the pull tab on the second and third pattern have rubber on the inside. So yeah, these are pretty hard to find. I wouldn't recommend using the fields. You know, if you're doing living history or a parade, that's different. But free enactments and uh, non self, I would not use these. You know, there's not many of them. This, there's many of them. I use these for non self. This, you know. Next is basically a nylon version. You can see where uh, Alice gear is getting the inspiration from. Uh, we switched over to nylon gear because we found out these mold a lot in the jungle jungle conditions. Uh, so nylon, you know, the water doesn't stay in; it doesn't soak like these do. And then quick snap enclosures. So they're M67. It's the M67 shorty from 20 round magazines. So these weren't even in Vietnam until 1970, probably. Let's see what do you say? I mean, they were issued in 1968, right there. But they probably didn't even reach Nam until 69 and 70. And truth sir issued these, we even issued them in full sets. Just pieces of gear, you know, you got guys with mixes. Even till the end of the war, you got people that didn't even get any uh, nylon gear issued. Next up, 
This might look like an Alice pouch, but it's not. And this, you see right here on the sides, is a uh, M67 30 round mag pouch for a 30 round M16 and a uh, M14 mag. So we're still using M14s at the times for our snipers and uh, you know guys back home, reserves, National Guard. You know any M16s we we're getting, we're going to new guys. And um, but there's still plenty of M16s back home. But you gotta understand, some guys are still being issued M14s at the time. So these are a bit more harder to find. Nice pair is Pepsi Boy or Into Cambodia on Instagram. You guys should really check him out. He incorporates these very nice. Like I've said, it, I've said it a thousand times before, I'm going to say it again. Don't use M67 gear unless you know what you're doing. In fact, if you're starting Vietnam reenacting and I'm soft, get all these. Just get second patterns. You know, don't waste your time with these and your money with those. Don't waste your time and money with these. And ruin history. These are fine. These take a lot of research, and if you don't know what you're talking about, you can get called out pretty badly, especially by those boomers. But for lucky, the boomer remover virus will take out most of them. Next up is something gross that you guys should never have, Alice. It is nasty, it is gross. Don't waste your time with it, it's nasty. S don't do it, stop. I know you're thinking you're saving money and no one's gonna notice, but we will notice and we'll find you. Do not even post a picture on a line if you have Alice. S stop, thank you. Any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Thank you, goodbye.